Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the uh, steel connection of the truss to column uh, in Idea Statica. And uh, this is the 2D truss in robot structural analysis. And I'm going to export the result from structural analysis in the, uh, the software to Idea Statica. And uh, design the connection so uh, before I start please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button and uh, if you like this video please put the thumb up as well okay so uh, there's many type of uh, steel connection that we can use for a connection from of the truss to the column but uh, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, only two types. So the first one is the truss on top of the column, and the other one, uh, we connect the truss to the side flank of the column. So uh, in this truss, I have pulled the load and run the structural analysis already. So now to export the data to Idea Statica, you can uh, go to Add-in and idea statica and idea statica so uh, you need to add a new uh, project so i'm going to choose the american standard so uh, now all you need to do is select the node and the uh, member the structural member that uh, uh, connect to uh, connect to that node, and uh, we can uh, proceed to the connection design. So first, I'm going to, to select this node and uh, these three members, and click on connection. Okay, so now we have a new connection here. So next, you uh, can click on finish to generate the uh, connection and open okay so first uh, you need to select the load type so I'm going to choose LRFT 2016 and we also have the load combination from the load, uh, the robot structural analysis software. So now all we need to do is adjust uh, this connection. So first I'm going to offset this a little bit to the top and I'm going to add the connection of this column to this column so I can go to operation and click on this type and I need to choose the size of the bolt I'm going to use a 20 millimeter and you can turn on the transparency here and uh, now we need to adjust the bolt uh, location So uh, I want to start from zero, but uh, I want to change the, the plat size here and maybe 15, sorry, this 10, 10, um, maybe 50 is too much. Now uh, I can change this to 12, maybe minus uh, 75. This one the same. I 
I think the bowl is too big, so uh, maybe change to 16. And change this. Minus 20. This one minus 20. Uh, next, you can cut this beam. So I'm going to choose this command and uh, select the beam and select the member uh, column. So now we got uh, this wheel and can change the size. So now I want to uh, wheel this. Uh, beam uh, flank to this plate you can go to operation and wheels and you want to choose the uh, edge to surface and choose uh, member and bottom flank change this to plate and you can select this plate you want to choose the wheel side 4 and uh, you need to change the age uh, index so this is 4 and I need only this this one okay next is uh, this uh, side so I'm going so I need to copy this and change it to 2 so now we got the wheels okay uh, now I want to add stiffener so i'm going to add this stiffener and select uh, this member and choose only uh, maybe change this to not specific and change the location Change this side. Okay, now uh, I need I can add uh, some stiffener here, so we can uh, use a uh, widener. Select on the column. Change this to the plate, the top plate here. And I'm going to choose only this side. So change this to front and change the side here. Uh, let's say um, Stephen. Change this to three. Okay, now uh, we got the connection. So all we need to do is just uh, click on calculate. Okay, so the calculation is complete, and everything uh, look uh, looks fine. So you can check the summary here. But uh, you can also check uh, more detail uh, in uh, this window. Uh, next, we can also run the backlink analysis. Okay, now the backlink analysis is complete, and you can check the uh, grid call backlink factor here, and you can also check more in this tab, and you can uh, check each of them and you can also show the buckling shape and the formation so now you can uh, uh, see how the beam deform in this uh, mode shape okay so this is how we can uh, do the uh, connection design of the truss to the steel column
uh, you can also connect this type of connection to the concrete column as well in case uh, we use the concrete column okay uh, next I'm going to uh, delete this and also this one and I'm going to extend this column to the top uh, beam here so you can choose this command and select these two beam and extend the column so now we we got uh, two nodes so this one and this one i'm going to run the calculation so uh now you can design this uh, connection and this connection separately uh, and uh, you can uh, connect the truss to the column like that so this this is the connection of the truss to column uh, to the, the flank of the column so in order to design the connection you go to the ideas static car adding and uh, select the node and the uh, structural member that connects it to that node so I'm going to select this node and select this uh, member and add a new connection so now I can uh, click finish and open it so uh, it's not so much uh, different from the the, the previous one so every step you uh, you uh, have to do exactly the same but uh, you need to change only the the type of the connection okay now uh, you can uh, model the connection so i'm going to cut uh, this diagonal uh, bar to uh, by this uh, beam so operation and cut this I'm going to choose this and cut by this member, but um, I need to change the coordinate of this uh, diagonal bar, maybe 150. And now you can uh, connect this beam to this column. But uh, remember, uh, be sure to change the uh, load type also. So I'm going to choose the same uh, load type LRFD 2016. And now we can uh, connect uh, the, the uh, top cord of the truss to this column. So you need to cha change this. Sorry, this is and this column. Sorry, I think this one okay. So uh, now you need to change, adjust uh, the bolt and also this plate. So first, I'm going to change the um, the size of the plate. Uh, let's say 10, 10, and this one uh, 50, maybe 25. And offset this a little bit to the top. Uh,
I'm going to add two more rows of the bows. Uh, let's say 100 minus 100. And this one the same. Okay, now we got the connection, but uh, I want to add the stiffener to this column. So add this stiffener. And you keep uh, you can keep this stiffener like this, but uh, I don't want it like that. So I'm going to change uh, is not specific. Change this uh, maybe ten. And add stiffener to this one. So I, you can uh, add an opera uh, another operation, or you can. Uh, Add this, uh, change this to two, and change the uh, the spacing from uh, stiff one stiffener to another stiffener. Uh, maybe three hundred. I'm going to change this to six. And now uh, you can run the uh, calculation can also add uh, the stiffener to the top uh, flank of this beam also but I'm, I'm not going to add now I just want to run the calculation okay now we got the connection and everything is okay now so uh, we can run the buckling analysis Okay, now the buckling analysis is complete. You can check the critical buckling factor here. And again, you can uh, go to buckling tab here to see uh, more detail. You can also uh, show the buckling shape. So this is how you can uh, do the uh, connection design of the truss to the column. So I hope you get uh, the idea of this video and apply to your own project and uh, there are many type of connection that you can uh, use in this type of structure so you don't have to uh, use the the ones that I show you it's okay but uh, this is just the idea and uh, I hope you uh, enjoy this video so uh, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button and put a thumb up uh, to this video as well so thank you very much see you guys in the next video